Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm sharing with you a easy Father's Day gift idea. So I made this awesome sign and I'm gonna show you how I made it. So I have this board here that in, initially it was about eight to 10 foot, I don't remember, but it was $10 and I had it cut into four pieces. I have this classic gray stain here, also bought at Home Depot. And the first step is to stain the board. So I'm using this foam brush initially and I didn't like the way that it was applying the stain so I went ahead and just switched to an old rag. So here's the board once it's stained. That's the rag I used. And next I'm going to use this chalk paint from Waverly bought at Walmart. So I'm using a foam brush again and I just wanted to give it like a white wash over the gray stain. And you guys, this sign will be up on my Etsy shop. So I'll leave that link in the description if you're interested in purchasing this for a Father's Day gift. So I made this stencil using my Cricut machine. So I'm gonna use this black chalk paint with another foam brush and just dab that black chalk paint all over the stencil. If you don't have a Cricut machine, you could probably try to print out whatever wording you want on your sign and just cut out the letters and Mod Podge the letters to a sign. I think that will work as well. So I also have this bottle opener that I picked up at Hobby Lobby for 50% off, so I only paid $2 for that, and I'm just going to go ahead and screw it right to the board. I also added two hanging hooks on the back of the board to hang, so it's easy to hang. So this is the sign, guys. It says, Man Cave, where the beer is always cold, and you have that bottle opener there. So remember, if you're interested in buying this, for a Father's Day gift, the link will be in the description box for my Etsy shop. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this easy DIY idea. If you did, please give me that thumbs up, leave me a comment, and if you're new, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys really soon in the next DIY.